Today we're going to be doing a little bit of testing with the new Callaway product that's going to be launching here in 22. This is going to be the new Rogue ST line. Now, just so everybody is aware, the new ST line is going to be replacing Maverick. So okay. it's going to be in addition to the Epic Speed line that's currently out. ST stands for Speed Tuned. So Speed Tuned is a joint partnership that Callaway has with F1. Okay. So the design, the engineering, and construction properties of this driver, very aerodynamic, very speed focused. Got so it. first head that we want to get into is going to be this new Rogue ST Max. So this is going to be kind of the bread and butter driver for Callaway, fits the broadest spectrum of player. So majority of our guys out here as they come in for fittings with us are going to fit into this driver. Now aesthetically, what kind of things are you noticing between Maverick and Rogue? So the biggest thing that I'll notice, they've got matte on the crown. Very clean, anti-glare, but also gives you that premium look. When you flip it over, you can easily see the highlights, where they've moved the weight, how they're constructing the driver. So I'm super excited to get into hitting this thing. What you were referring to with some of the aesthetics, they've maintained that triaxle carbon on the crown, but big difference for us with Rogue ST this year is the inclusion of all of this carbon that they've added to the crown. Mm -hmm. So with this unibody construction, they have a very, very solid chassis base, and then they filled in some of those hollow points with this carbon through the crown, saving weight, redistributing weight for more forgiveness in the driver. So we hit on this new weight cartridge. This is a new innovation from Callaway. This is their tungsten speed cartridge. So they've actually repositioned 26 grams of weight low and deep to help with those optimized launch conditions mm -hmm. and also boost the MOI of the driver, giving us maximum energy transfer even when we miss the center a little bit. Mm -hmm. As we did some testing, we did see a little bit more movement than what you're used to seeing with your current gamer of uh, that ball starting straight and moving a little left. Correct. So for those of us out there that do fight a little bit of a right miss, max head, great option. Absolutely. So when you were testing, what did you notice with this? Well, I noticed that as I hit it kind of across the face, we kept up stability mm -hmm. uh, in the ball flight, but also in the ball speed, which is very important as you're playing a driver that kind of plays towards those miss hits. How well did you hit that ball? You know, I, I actually probably tested this the proper way. I hit it across the face. I got a couple off the middle, but a couple low heel, a couple high toe, uh, and I was very impressed with the stability of the ball flight. We're not getting any crazy lefts or crazy rights. The spin was consistent. So, you know, that product is exactly, I think, what Callaway was looking for. I would agree. And I mean, looking at some of the data here, the ball speed that we saw was pretty consistent. Mm -hmm. I mean, we didn't see a lot of fluctuation. Right. And that's kind of a testament to some of the engineering components that they've included in the new Rogue product. Mm -hmm. So extremely stable. And what do you think of the sound? Sound was, I think, one of the biggest uh, positives. When you get into a Max product, sometimes it can sound a little tinny, it can sound a little loud, almost off-putting, but this was almost a muted sound. And that was really largely in part due to that tungsten speed cartridge that we touched on earlier. Mm -hmm. So it actually has a urethane cap inside of that speed cartridge to help with the acoustics okay. of it. So that was an improvement that they made in this driver from feedback off of Maverick. Overall, great product, really excited. It's a great starting point for us testing across the line, so looking forward to testing the others. Next up for us to test, new Rogue ST Max D. So this is gonna be dedicated draw head. Mm -hmm. So first thing straight away we notice here, no composite down here towards the heel. Instead, they've actually got a fixed weight mm -hmm. that they can adjust given the amount of not only swing weight, but also how much assistance we want in creating more of that draw shape ball flight. Okay. So let's hit this, grab some numbers. This guy, I would say was as advertised. Yep. So we saw quite a bit more draw than we did when we tested Max. Right. So, and this head Callaway did design to be more draw bias than what they have in the current Epic Max line. Mm -hmm. Initially, I could I could immediately see that it was a more draw bias product than the Rogue ST Max. Did exactly what we were looking for, that right to left ball flight, but it was very consistent. I wasn't seeing a big difference in the way it was drawing. It was just consistently turning over for me. So that was very impressive. Numbers validated. I mean, it was slightly higher launch mm -hmm. than we visually saw. Mm -hmm. A little bit more spin helps that player out there that needs a little bit more spin for the added stability. Right. Did exactly what we were anticipating yep. it to do. And I would say designers 
hit it out of the park. They crushed it. It was amazing. Uh, and again, that matte finish on this driver just looks so good to the eye. It looks premium. It looks fast. It sounds great. Acoustics, again, is something to mention with this driver because it still sounds amazing. And even though they do have that repositioned weight down towards the heel, mm -hmm. Max D still has that tungsten speed cartridge in the back mm -hmm. with that vibration dampening material that they do have in there for that acoustics. Yep, it's amazing, really good product. All right, so now with our testing, we get to get into something that's a little more in your wheelhouse. Mm -hmm. So this is new Rogue ST Max LS. So this is gonna be geared to that player that likes a little bit more traditional shape, mm -hmm. as well as might be higher speed, higher spin. Right. So definitely more of a neutral type ball flight right. when compared to Max and Max D. So as we talked about, a little more player orientation here. So we saw the jump in ball speed. Mm -hmm. We saw the flight stabilize. We went back to be able to kind of work it both ways. What did you notice during testing? So the visual aspect stands out to me. You look down at it, it's got a very visually appealing top line. Very easy to line up, but again, like you mentioned, I can work it both directions. To me, that's something that's very important, but it was a very stable ball flight with that standard golf swing. And I did have some miss hits where some drivers that are more geared towards that player oriented person tend to have a, a little bit looser miss hit. This was actually very stable. I was impressed with it. We saw some great numbers out of this. And with Flash Face, the SS22 AI design face, the stability on the face was super consistent. Mm -hmm. We hit this very solid, the miss hit or two that we had, maintain ball speed, maintain spin, and like we saw, gave you the ability in this LS design to shape that ball left and right. Right, and I think that's a testament to the consistency of the spin. When it was good, the spin was in a perfect spot, but those miss hits, the spin jumped enough to keep that ball from going off the map with that low spin miss. So really nice package, very playable, one that I would definitely consider putting in my bag. So now we get to the fun part. Callaway has decided this year they're going to actually make the Triple Diamond LS available to the general public. Wow. So exclusively reserved for tour players. Sure. We do have to note that this head is designed for essentially that 5% demographic. Mm -hmm. So that player that likes a neutral to fade bias ball flight, that likes a low forward CG, looking for the ability to kind of control trajectory, shape shots, and then trying to sneak every bit of ball speed out of this head as possible. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be the most unforgiving head, but with all of the AI innovation that they do have in these heads, still going to have some forgiveness sure. over previous generations. So like we said, kind of geared more towards that better player looking to really maximize shot shaping ability and mm -hmm. looking to cut some spin and maximize ball speed. Yep. What'd you notice with testing? Checked all those boxes you just mentioned. I was able to flight it in some different windows, but most importantly, we saw a jump in ball speed. But again, we touched on maybe the forgiveness being a little less than the other models in the lineup, but it's not a amount of forgiveness that's going to turn anybody off. It's actually really quite nice uh, for those better players looking for more speed, the ability to work the ball, and then up and down through those different windows. Checks all the boxes. I agreed. For that player that's looking to guard against that left miss, mm -hmm. that as, as a better player, I hate seeing the ball right. go left. Right. So I would like to see that soft little fade, and this really delivers. Right. So smaller, more compact head, more appealing, does have that neutral to fade bias flight characteristic to it. So I really think we have a, a great option here for that player looking for that specific little niche competitive edge. And I love that Callaway did offer that in the lineup because they check all the boxes with what they have, but this is just that cherry on top. It protects that left miss. I really tried to turn some over and it's really difficult to turn, which as a better player, you remove one side of the course. Just got done doing some testing, mm -hmm. Rogue ST line. Uh, went through the whole line, all four driver models. We saw a lot of interesting things, a lot more stability, jump in ball speed. I mean, a fluctuation in spin across the whole line. Mm -hmm. How would you summarize that sample? Well, I think it's a very great sample for a variety of players. You've got the Max products and the Max D that's gonna give you that draw bias and the more forgiveness as you work down the line to the Max LS and then the Triple Diamond LS. You've got the better players targeted there where the spin's gonna drop. You've got a little more workability gonna hit those different windows both up both up and down and uh, you know overall just a great lineup of drivers just got done wrapping up testing new line rogue ST fairway woods 
So great complement to the drivers that we tested earlier. So complementing line going through with ST Max D, mm -hmm. ST Max, mm -hmm. and then also complementing fairway wood for the ST Max LS. Mm -hmm. So what did we see when you were hitting these guys? So when I hit the fairways, they did exactly what I would expect. Uh, same as the driver. So with the Max D product, easy to turn over, very forgiving, very appealing to the eye, and it has a very low profile, so easy to hit off the deck. Exactly what you want in that category. When I got to the ST Max line, again, the same thing. A lot of forgiveness, not quite as draw bias. Still easy to turn over, but not quite as easy. So check that box. Then when you get to the LS product, that's the one where you're able to work it left and right, high and low. Checks all the boxes as a, as a better player, as a lower handicap, which almost leaves that gap where the LS triple diamond, you don't need to have a three with the LS three wood does everything that you need. It does have that low forward CG, that reposition discretionary weight right behind the face. Does want to flight the ball a little bit lower, does want to cut some spin. So I'd say good compliment there to what we saw in Triple Diamond LS. Yeah, absolutely. And for me, this was a product that I could immediately put in my bag. It was very fast, went far, but it was a very controlled far. It wasn't one where you get a low spin and then a high spin and then a low spin. Very consistent with the spin across the board. Great product, compliment the driver line. And I would say you would be more in that demographic of faster, better player. So for that demographic of player, that club head, compared to the other two, we saw higher launch, very neutral to slightly draw bias mm -hmm. in the ST fairway wood. Transitioning into that Rogue ST Max D, saw a little bit higher launch, more spin, and definitely that draw bias. It's gonna be a really good year for Callaway. And when we were doing robot testing, we saw the same consistency that we saw today with the heads being essentially as advertised. Yep, absolutely.